I think every archaeologist prefers to be digging than be in a classroom. Uh, it's much more fun being outside and actually doing what you're learning about. I'm Eli Orvar, an archaeology master's student at NIU. A lot of problem solving that doesn't come up necessarily in lecture. The project's constantly adapting and changing to what you find and different soil conditions. And There's a lot to be learned actually out here conducting archaeology. We're at the Glidden barn where barbed wire was invented and manufactured for a short time. It all started last summer, almost a year ago now. I got an email from Rob to the anthropology department just asking for help on potential archaeological project here at the, at the farmstead. The uh, barn is built around 1870 and that is the actual site of barbed wire invention. We uh, had come up with a uh, historic structures report, what we needed to do to sort of uh, uh, refurbish the barn. When we talked to Springfield, Springfield said, no, it's not refurbish, it's, it's restore, and that you have to have really specific ideas of how the materials originally uh, appeared in the barn. The more and more we looked at how complicated that was going to be, the more it looked like it was going, it should really it really resembled archaeology. And Eli was the one who came over and, and, and we talked through the project and, uh, and, and he began to ask, instead of historical questions, archaeological questions. And that sort of really opened the project up to archaeology. And I'm more interested in uh, why, why did they build a, a brick barn here in the Midwest? That's pretty unusual. Why does it have a cistern? Um, why are we finding the artifacts we're finding? And we know a lot about the story of barbed wire and what the barn was used for during that short amount of time. But I'm also very curious as what the barn was used for before and after that time. We started clearing the floor and we started finding all kinds of interesting things about the barn. There's a brick floor that covers the entire barn. So once we found that out, the goal began to uncover the brick floor throughout the barn so that we could determine where would be the best spots to put in, test, uh, test trenches, test pits, that kind of thing. We then wanted to get a better look at the foundation of the barn and the natural stratigraphy of the area. So we put in a, a second test trench um, and dug that to the depth of the foundation. And then lastly, we put in a test trench over by the office here um, where we're currently working, um, trying to get to the depth of that. We found a horseshoe, we found a medicine bottle, uh, a pocket knife. I'm, I'm really interested in animal bone and we found quite a bit of that. We, we recently found a whole intact bottle. We're not really sure what it was, but that was pretty, pretty neat. A lot of, what a cool uh, like domestic ceramics and, and then slag. Um, it doesn't sound like the most interesting artifact, but um, it's kind of unusual. There's a lot of, to be gained in the classroom. You learn a lot, but uh, you learn a whole different set of skills actually doing it. It's, it's so much more special to have somebody who is just right here at NIU. And that with the historical relationship with NIU, that this is just a thing that sort of builds that, builds on that.